All right, y'all, so we're gonna be talking about this pink sauce thing that has been going viral on TikTok. And there's so many people concerning about the thing, like myself as well. I'm not a fan of the product. I think it looks questionable. I think it looks sus. It looks like nut sauce, balls, and it looks like something that's made of pepto bismol. It's a product like that that really makes me question why do people think that going viral on social media is going to have people buy this stuff, knowing that there's going to be some dangerous concerns health wise for people that actually bought this stuff. And let's be honest here. I've seen this stuff on YouTube. I've seen a lot of negative reviews about people buying stuff like this. And the results were not good. In this heated heat wave weather of summer of 2022, you ship these things across the country where people are ordering them, they want to try them, not knowing full well that the results after that is not going to look like how it was in a promotional video like y'all gotta understand that just because it looks good on paper doesn't mean it looks great in life so with that being said let's get into this article it's pink it's sauce what more could you want to know about pink sauce before consuming it after all what could possibly go wrong by putting something pink and gooey into your mouth pause well clearly there has been a lot of questions about this so-called pink sauce and that's been promoting and sold by Chef P over the social media platform of TikTok. We all know that. Ever since Chef P showed herself dripping or dipping what appears to be fried chicken in a mysterious pink sauce and then eating it in June. Folks on social media have been intentionally saying, I have so many questions and so do I. These questions have ranged from how does it taste to what it actually, I mean, what's actually in it, to what's up with the label and the packaging, to why the heck are people buying it and consuming something where there are so many questions. I think that's the one thing that kind of bugs me about this as well. People just buying stuff without actually reading the labels of how many calories are inside of it, of what's actually inside the sauce. So. Ever since it went, well, it went viral, she's been responding with a bunch of nonsense. She's not sorry about what's going on. She claimed that they're inside the lab, but you should have thought about that before you decided to put this out in public, knowing that the product is not ready. You clearly are trying to get people sick. You're trying to get people killed. It's not a good look. The following pair of tweets sort of summarize what's been going on with this pink watery substance that sort of looks like Pepto-Bismol but isn't Pepto-Bismol at least it shouldn't be alright so this is one of the chefs that we're talking about and it went down a rabbit hole I'm crying so I'm guessing this is a person that tweeted he's probably upset about the sauce of how it's not turning out so well and so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this video. So, let's get to it. We need to talk about pink sauce and why a lot of people are concerned for the people that have bought this TikTok. Because the hue of the sauce keeps changing. Every photo, every video, the sauce color looks different. And also, she doesn't, cannot describe the taste. I've been hearing it kind of tastes like ranch. Not exactly ranch, but basically ranch. Now that people have purchased it, and received it, they're noticing that there's a lot of stuff that's really sketchy with the bottle. The nutrition facts need to be off. It says there's 444 servings. Some of the ingredients are spelled wrong. The website also just seems so poorly put together. Like, what is this? Why does it say this? It's literally like $20 for a bottle, and a lot of people are now worried that this creator is going to be facing lawsuits. The sauce was also arriving in the mail in the bags they were not like boxed up with bubble wrap and we're talking about liquid sauce here so obviously some people were receiving them literally exploded it's honestly so sad i'm really rooting for small businesses but when it comes to food you need to be careful with what you're buying and the safety and everything that right there really goes to show you that you shouldn't trust people when you buy stuff online from tiktok from a person that is making this stuff 
if they don't have the license to be doing all of that, don't buy none of that at all. So let's continue. As you can see, the second tweet include a TikTok video from Spillage underscore YT that began with, we need to talk about the pink sauce and why, why are a lot of people are concerned about the people who brought this, as we should. And went on to the point out, I mean, it went on to point out some of these concerns. One concern that Spillage raised was, while the hue of the sauce kept changing, every photo, every video, the sauce looked completely different. Yep, unless it's intern the quantum refrigerator. So the product significantly changed in appearance without explanation might raise some red flags. I mean, that's what I've been saying before. I first told my sister about it and she now knows about it. So I showed her the video on YouTube and it was a mess and it was embarrassing. So whatever you see online, don't assume that it works, that it looks good in person. Like you better think twice about buying stuff online if it doesn't look right. So let that be a lesson to everybody. Concern has been one of taste. Typically before ordering any type of food or drink item, you like to know how it tastes. That's why you don't put random things in your mouth so that you end up playing some kind of ton roulette. Yet according to the chef, has not clearly described the taste of the sauce and has even indicated that she cannot describe the taste Instead, she asked the others to describe the taste of the concern, I mean, of the connection. I mean, of the concoction. How do you say it? Yeah, concoction is whatever. In the video, she indicated that I've been hearing that kind of taste like ranch, not exactly ranch, but basically ranch. In this case, ranch presumably refers to ranch dressing rather than any area where Livestock and like you already know I'm talking about what I'm trying to say, but Yeah, I mean when I saw the video myself, she didn't really say anything. She didn't really Talk about this issue correctly. She just Left us in the gutter, you know, and a lot of listen I need y'all to understand something if you're trying to become an entrepreneur and if, if you try to go into business always make sure test your stuff before you decide to put it in stores because when people suspect something is wrong you better explain to them right off the bat and give them their money back as well because you don't want to be going around scamming people on social media because that's what they're doing nowadays like you got to be real with yourself and you got to be enthusiastic as well while you're selling your product and stuff this right here is not cheap at all that they have been um, the bottom of concerns, so to speak, about the pink sauce. She mentioned in the video, now that people have purchased it and received it, they are noticing that there is a lot of stuff that really sketchy with the bottle. Yeah, I already know about that. There are so many errors to this neutral labels saying 444 servings, which is 14.4 grams per servings, which makes almost 6,300 something grams in the whole bottle which is incorrect I mean inaccurate excuse me and if these small details were overlooked I'm looking at quality control now I'm kind of scared yeah 6,300 grams or 6.3 kilograms would be quite a lot of fit inside a bottle that would be about as heavy as a vacuum cleaner <laughs> three map yeah three map book pros of hot boiling ball yeah this is just stuff like this that you need to watch out for because sometimes you don't need to be trusting people on social media if they're just putting stuff out like that without actually testing stuff out before you decided to just say you know what I'm just gonna like put the stuff out there anyway and see what people think of it not knowing that the kind of backlash that you should be I mean you're gonna be receiving yeah you should have thought about that a long time ago at the end of the day you're gonna have to learn right from wrong like you need to have a a real license to do something like this be careful what you're doing or reviewing it on TikTok on social media everywhere and now all of a sudden you're getting in the backlash and yet you're still not giving people a clear explanation as to why is this and that happening to my thoughts 
So, if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this, and if you want the article, I will post it in the description below. Until then, I'm out.